the bandsaw can be a really good machine to be cutting joints on. We do cut a lot of joints by hand in the workshop, but we also do use a variety of machines for cutting joints when it's the appropriate joint for that machine. What we do need to ensure if we're doing joints on the machine is that our timber has been very well prepared. And by that I mean it's been used on the surface planer or jointer, through the thickness planer or panel planer, and cut to length on our table saw. We need to ensure that our timber really has got a very good face side and face edge and is planed all the way around. I know that our machines are very well set up and this will be as square on all four sides, not just the face side and face edge. This means when I'm referencing on my bandsaw, traditionally we would always say face edge, face side to the fence or the bed. For me, I will happily turn my timber as I require to on the machine to cut the joints and not necessarily referencing just off those two faces. I can only do that because I am confident that my timber is very accurately machined. We've covered all that in separate videos, how to set up and use those machines to make your timber really accurate. If your timber is not accurate, you'll be fighting a battle all the way through with your making, trying to compensate for the out of square, the twist and the warp that your timber may have problems with. For setting up these joints, I've marked them all out with my hand tools, much the same as I would if I were hand cutting them. Again, I've got good accurate marking out tools and good hard pencil or a scalpel for marking my lines too. If my marking out isn't good, my joint cutting won't be good. I can only reference as well as my marking out is. When we're doing joint cutting, as a general rule for me, if I'm going to be doing a joint and finishing a really clean shoulder with a chisel or perhaps a shoulder plane, I will tend to put a knife line in there and that will give me something for my chisel to reference and sit into. If I'm cutting a joint and finishing it off the saw, which might be the band saw or the table saw, I generally will just put a pencil line in there. The saw blade on the machines will not follow my knife line any more than it will a pencil line. If I don't exactly hit that knife line off the saw, I'm then left with a gap formed by the knife line I put in there. So I generally, for machining, will just put a pencil line on there, a very crisp one, and it gives me a reference point to work to.